you has the situation been to manage this back injury and what is the latest on that? How difficult. I do not want to understand 100%. What do we mean with how difficult? How difficult has it been for you to manage the situation with his injury and what's the latest? Yeah. It's as difficult as it always is with injuries. So it's um, nothing major, but it was enough to keep him out two, two games. And he's not in training so far. So um, that means he's also a doubt for the weekend. Yeah, that's not too cool. Um, same with, it's a completely different situation, but um, Joel Matip and Emre Can has also a little, got a little, little bits from the last game. And so uh, we have to see. Um, hopefully they can be back in training today or at least tomorrow, but um, it's not sure in the moment, so we have to, we have to wait. And how tough does that make your job then, planning for the weekend? I mean, by your own, own admission, you're sick of conceding the goal. <laughs> Yeah, I gave you a nice service, huh? so um, <laughs> yeah. welcome. Um, yeah, it does make it more difficult or, or less difficult. I always want to have the, all the players available, that's how it is, but we cannot change this. I cannot make a back problem um, away like this, so it's um, we have to see how it will be. But it's, uh, again, you can imagine, um, the, dif the difficulty of our situation is that we really play well. That's how it is in the end. We, we don't... Um, score often enough so far, but I think that's a minor problem. Of course, it's a problem, but it's not because, how I said a few times, we have to create these moments, you have to, to, to make chances and all that stuff. That's the job. And that says that a lot of things work really well. I, the teams, just, yeah, our opponents struggle really in these moments to defend us. So we have to do it by ourselves if you want, and um, but then it was it, it's too easy. It was too easy. I would like to say, and I want to say, it's, it was too easy for them then to 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 to, to make an impact in the game with one situation, and um, so that's. Um, but that the team from the last game changed eight times, I think. So, what can I expect? Um, and um, the, the, yes, I, I think we all can expect that we should be better in situations like we had around. The goals, but they're always. How I said it's a different plan. It's always a different, a different little mistake. And if you take the, the first goal, we concede it. It's again, it's an inch or centimeter, whatever. It's not a half a yard. It was really close. We have to, we have to push up in this situation. And, and Joe decided in this moment, yes, step up and then step back again. And so it was an offside. And then we lost the challenge. And it was the goal that it's for the rest. It's not to change anymore. You cannot. What, what can you say to them? But you have to be aware of that. It's this things they can happen. The only problem is it happened in this kind of and around this year. It happened too often. That's that's for sure. Uh, we work on it. Eh? So we work on it. Obviously, we sorted a few of these problems, but at the end, obviously, not enough to not conceding anymore. That will not work. That we never concede anymore um, a goal, whenever. But it, um, we need to be more, still more concentrated in these situations. That that's how it is. So. On the other hand side, we still have to keep the good shape. We have to we have to carry on. We have to do the right things again. And when we have when we come in the right situations, we have to be more clinical. We need to use these we need to use these moments more often for our good. And um, that's the that's the situation. So it's uh, it's like it is. So we have to carry on. That's what we do. I don't know if you're aware, but Alex Oxley Chamberlain took a bit of criticism for his performance against Leicester. When do you think we'll see the best of him in a Liverpool show? Yeah, that's the world. Huh? That's world of football. It's quite quick with all that stuff. So I know I'm not aware of it, but I can imagine. Um, Ox had a few really, really good situations, a few unlucky situations. Um, I thought he, he, he did really well in the moments when you could see that he tries to adapt to the style of play and, and all that stuff. I had a few, little problem with the calf. Um, it was not, it's not an injury, but a little problem. And um, we, we, we all need to get used to this and, and to manage this a little bit better. Um, but that was all. It, it's, it's a first game from the start, so nothing else. It's, um, that's, no, I, <laughs> Yeah, yeah I got, but I can imagine that's the world of football. How I said that after a game like this, you lost. He played, didn't make his best game in his life. So then people probably ask, what does he? Uh, where's the impact he can make? But um, I'm not in doubt about this.
Jürgen, with the defensive injury potential that you've got preparing for the weekend, how, how much more of a challenge is it for you to solve the, the issues that you've been talking about when potentially you're without your first choice centre back pairing? We will see. That's that's how it is. So um, Ragnar played now. Would be then the third game in a row if he, if he plays again. Joe made the game in the in the, on the centre half position. We have to see then how we can um, manage the, the if it would be like this. I don't I'm not, don't hope that it's like this. But because then Trent um, probably plays um, again fullback and three days later again because Joe is suspended stuff like this that's a normal that's a normal day for a football manager so we have to see what we can do but until I have no um, it's not clarified what, how it's exactly we have to I have to wait and we have to train with the boys they can train today and um, and then we have to prepare the game and then we will see until Saturday are still two days to go so um, which player will be available it's yeah it's a normal challenge so it's not that it's worse or, or better than another situation that's how it is you players can um, get ill overnight that's how it is and then you have to to, to, to make another plan and um, so that's why we prepare pretty much everything until we know who we can use how much does it help the fact that you played Leicester this week I don't think that we have both teams will not think too much about this game, so um, because there will be different lineups for sure, um, and on both sides, obviously. And uh, so, it's, uh, it, I think Leicester has a typical style of play. They couldn't play like this because um, Jamie Vardy is a, is a pretty uh, is a key player for this kind of play, and um, and also uh, Mares is a key player for this. So both were not involved. So that means it was different. But we know, of course, how, how Leicester plays usually, and um, a lot of things are, will be the same, and a lot of, a few things will be different. Um, and it's all about being really quick. And uh, after they win the ball, they are really quick and pass in behind. They go for side pieces. Fuchs will be back probably, so it means um, throw-ins uh, are back in the game and um, all this stuff. So we know about it. We we did well in games, and we did not so good in games against these things. Um, but I, I thought, and that's the main thing. Uh, that we showed again good shape. Yes, we have to. We need to involve um, this kind of very useful aggression. We need to involve this um, um, the greed. We need to involve the the, re the the real fight for the result. And even when we are one nil down, I, we, with that many changes, you cannot always expect everything. But of course, one nil is not a result which closed the game. Uh, if we are one nil in lead, it's not a closer. And, and the other way around, it's the same. So, but after one nil, the game changed. Leicester. So oh, that's how it is. It was not a big problem usually, as you concede the goal. But if you go on playing like we did before, and we can also score. And um, but in this moment, it changed the game. And we have to. We all have to fight, of course, again uh, for this. For this. Uh, Staying positive in a game, whatever happens, you don't score with the first situation. That's that's how it is. And you, at the beginning, it was so nice. And how fluent we are, how creative we are, and how we are still fluent and still creative, but we don't score, and so it's a big problem. So that's for for me, it's important that I um, can help the players with their staying really positive about this, plus changing the right things, plus including the right things, and then uh, we have still. Uh, we are still in a good moment, but of course it's Premier League again, and uh, we need results, and um, that's what we want to go for. Michael, your yeah, admission leads to some of the problems defensively are down to problems with, with concentration. How do you go about solving that? Because it's not like asking players to adjust tactically; is it's a different thing. And yeah, it's concentration, but it's also it's it's also a, bit, a little bit of, of of readiness in this moment. So the second ball situation, obviously, we spoke about set pieces. So we speak about set pieces since I'm in more or less. And um, but there are different moments. We we they, we concede a few goals out with the first ball or cross header, cross volley, whatever. We saw that this somehow so far uh, much better formation. We use formation better. But now, of course, that's how it is. We cannot defend uh, a set piece with a header in the other half, so 50 yards header or whatever. So there will be an opportunity for a second ball and for fighting for these balls, we need to do different. Uh, so what we have in the moment, everybody, because of the situation, also, everybody wants to help where the ball, first ball is. You see this very often, it's kind of, we, we, we become too close together in the situation where the first ball is going after a throw-in, whatever, means 
for the second ball, we don't have a good formation. We really work on this and we see it in the game. Up. And again, the step is in the wrong direction. That's kind of, uh, I would say, around these situations, it's not the same confidence than it is around give us the ball and it looks much more um, natural, I would say. So, And that's what we have to work on. That's that's the situation. That's a, we are all, each manager in football has another hole to fill, I would say. That's all one thing. But if you would ask me, what would you prefer? Um, do you want your team being perfect in defending set pieces but don't know how to play football? Or would you prefer the other way around? I still would take this one. So um, And we are on it, how you can imagine. But we need, I cannot do it and look at, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. It makes the problem. In a moment, it feels like we saw it, but in the situation, you can see again and going back to old um, patterns to, to, to how you do it. I don't know, did it a few weeks before. So that happens and we need to get more natural in, in these things again, because it's really not that difficult, to be honest. Um, but it happens too often. So that's how it is. And now we have to to work on it. And that's what we did already and what we will do again. And um, yeah, then it will be even more difficult to create something against us. In the corresponding fixture last season at uh, Monday night game, Leicester's pace caused you all kinds of problems with with Barney and Morris. They've also got Damari Gray. Will, will that change the way you approach the game in terms of your, of your structure? <laughs> The pace causes you always problems if you def don't defend the balls good enough. So if I remember, I'm not sure which goal it was, probably the first one. We it's an open ball after after throw in. We both teams have the ball, we have it, and we we can control it. And I think drink water pass one ball through the two centre halves, and body is away. Um, body is away, and that's a, um, that's just, pace is just one problem then. So it's about the organization in these moments. So it's it's about protecting your open situations. So if you if the ball is open, it means 50-50. Both teams can have it. So that's how it is. And um, you need to prepare yourself with the right formation for these kind of counter attacks. And yes, but um, speed is then only the last problem because it's the, the pass is the first one. And um, yes, we know we know about these things. And um, um, yes, we we how I said we we played. Really well. We, we lost, I think, twice on our third time at Leicester. I'm not sure, um, but the first game we played there when they became champion, yeah, we were a clear better side. But they still scored with wonderful goals. Uh, one of again, Jamie Vardy was a. Do we use the word half volley? Yeah, so <laughs> from close to the halfway line. So um, a wonder goal, if you want. And. Um, no, no, we know how to play them, but of course we have to we have to be really concentrated in all these situations and to play football because that's what caused them also problems and we should not forget this. Oh. Yeah, you spoke about confidence of the players. How, have you seen enough of the right responses from them when you've gone behind? Obviously, you were behind against Birmingham, equalised quite quickly, when behind against Leicester, but didn't. So have you seen enough of the right responses from players? Uh, about when we go, when we are one nil down, or what? Or, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, we, we can talk about two things. So we, we, we can see the first goal against Sevilla, respond really well. We can concede the first goal against Burnley, respond really well. I would prefer not to concede the first goal, so, to be honest. Um, against Leicester, it was different. It was second half and much later. Um, yes, um, in, in two games, I saw enough. In one game, I didn't see enough. So that's how it is. Um, and we, we have to. We have to keep on going. So, how I said, I know, and, and again, I said a few times, I understand 100% that we sit here and we talk about the things that, that happened, but that I, I, you know, you can imagine, I know already about all these problems or not problems, and um, so I, I made my decisions already and um, how to, to, to work with it. If we talk a lot about it, I only create headlines. So, I don't want it because they don't help us. It's just. Club says this. Club says this. For me, it's important what we what we do, what we how we work on it, and we are on it. We talk about it. We we we, we work on it. This is the long part of a three-game week, from Tuesday to Saturday. So that's also good. Gives us one more session. Oh, that that's all good. We hopefully we can use it. We will have to we have to prove it on on Saturday. That's clear. But um, how I said, responding on the. 
being one nil down was okay, but the problem is being one nil down. So um, that's, um, of course, another thing what is not nice. But as long as we stay in the game, as long as we do what we are good in, as long we are a real threat for each team. Only the moment when we change these things, then it's then it becomes a problem. But it was against Burnley. It was difficult for Burnley until the end with with changes and all that stuff. Yes, they had the opportunities then at the end. Um, but it's it was a, a game like it should be, apart from scoring and apart from conceding the first goal. What always can happen, especially in a situation like this, should not but can. So that's it. We proved it already uh, hundreds of times, I would say, but it's, it's oh, no, it sounds like we have nil points and we are completely we are the worst team in the league. So that's a little bit like we talk uh, here. That's it. So yes, we have obviously problems. That's why we only have eight points um, and not 15. Um, that's the situation. So, but it's um, we can make it more serious than it is, or we can take it like it is. Yes, we have still work to do. That would be the same if we have if we have 15 points. It only would feel different, but it would be the same. So, and that that's all what it is. Yes, we have the right characters. Yes, sometimes we react really well. Sometimes we don't react perfectly. That's that's how it always is, and um, can, we can improve in each part of our game. And um, and character is nothing fixed. It's not that you say you cannot improve in this. You cannot change your mentality. Of course you can, but you only have to get used to it. That's how it is. And um, and I said it again. I can say it again. And always and again. It's that we, um, if we take the right information of the things we did so far, then it always helps. It always helps. And that's of course what I try to help the players with.